In today's video, we're going to react to some creepy TikTok conspiracies. Let's get into it. The following clip is from David and Carl's podcast, Nobody Loves You. In this segment, he's describing at five to six years old, his teacher brings a leprechaun into the classroom for show and tell. Now, he states that there are other witnesses that will back his story to this day. Take a look and listen to what he has to say. Do you believe him? Did he really see a leprechaun? Or is there some other explanation? Tell me what you think. Six years old, kindergarten. And like, I feel like a lot of teachers will do the whole like fake, like green footprint thing. My teacher, her name was Miss McElwee. And we're all sitting in a circle around her chair. She pulls out a fucking live leprechaun, like a foot tall, and she puts him on his on her knee, just looks at all of us, hops off his fucking knee, and runs out of the classroom. Obviously, that sounds like fucking nonsense, but I have multiple witnesses. Well, the way it was told to me was like when we kind of figured out, it was so funny to me because you were afraid to like tell, to say it out loud. <laughs> That would be a pretty crazy experience. I know when I was in kindergarten, I remember very clearly going into the classroom. There was a bunch of little green footprints everywhere and green milk. That was like the whole thing. They would give us chocolate and green milk. Now, our teacher never whipped out a little tiny leprechaun and sat it on their lap. Nothing like that ever happened. But it just makes me wonder, maybe they just had a little person at that time and all the kids thought it was an actual leprechaun. That's my guess, but that's pretty funny if that's the case because these people actually grew up thinking that they actually seen a leprechaun. <laughs> This creepy video comes from Dee's Dark Adventures, I'll tag it below. And after hiking on a strange trail in the woods of Ohio, she begins to be hunted by something in the distance, and it does not go well. Because not only does it look much larger than her, but it follows her all the way out of the woods. And you can tell she was terrified. I cut it down four times, but here's how it all started. Let me know what you think. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Yep. Yep. I got down. I can't go. Please, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. After that scare, she makes it safely out of the woods. That is until she hears movement behind her and turns around and sees something in the tree line. Well, that video ends there. I don't really know if this is real or fake. I think it's probably fake. I, I cannot imagine somebody feeling like they're being chased in the woods and stopping every 10 seconds to record and see what's behind them as they're running and then just run away. It, that just makes no sense realistically. Now in a horror film, or a horror skit, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Let me know what you guys think about this video. You think it's real? Do you think it's fake? I'm leaning more on the side of it being fake, but it could very well be real. And if it is, I hope this person's okay. Stop tweaking about life for a second and look at this image. You are literally a single cell that is wearing armor and grew a lot. Your whole brain, your spinal column is this, but bigger. You added some meat. And we walk around our whole lives thinking that we are the meat. This stuff, it's all temporary. It's all rented. 
Our payment is time. So more than anything, this is a call for people to stop reducing God to a single book because you think the infinite is gonna just be in a single book? Yes, it can tell you about that, but you can't even think about what the infinite is. We can't even think about what we are. And when you figure out what you are, you will figure out what God is. To me, the best way to look at it is we're just tadpoles that develop into what we are. Hey, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I only ask once per video and I make a video like this almost every day. And currently we're at 10,933 subscribers. And to everyone that's subscribed and or watching, thank you for being subscribed and thank you for watching. What do you guys think was the worst year ever in history? Oh. Because there is a year. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what year did the Lord of the Rings come out? Um, <laughs> Let me just cut to the chase. <laughs> yeah. Can I guess? What year? Sure. 1939. Okay. Was it in the 1900s? Nope. 20th century? <laughs> nope. Way before then. Guaranteed you probably haven't heard about this. Okay. Maybe you have because I I think I've brought it up before, not on this podcast. Tell us, what's the worst year in human history? The worst year in human history was the year 536 A.D. Oh. Okay. It's the worst time to wake up, too. Do you know what happened? <laughs> what happened? 536 A.D. When was that? What was happening at that time? So, um, not a lot. You know, uh, the Roman Empire was kind of breaking apart a little bit here and there. Okay. Everything's whatever. Um, but there was a volcano that erupted in Iceland that ended up making the sky dark okay pretty much around the entire world or the recorded world which would be like Europe, Asia, Africa yeah and so on dark for an entire year from this cloud of how big an entire this? year an entire year like to where all these different nations recorded that year of like the sun Gave off light like the moon. Oh my gosh. Like it gave off no warmth. And the global temperature dropped 15 degrees oh my gosh. within that year. And so there was mass famine. Yeah. yeah. Um, it so, was. Yeah, no, nothing's growing yeah, at that point. It was like recorded in China that it was snowing during the summer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it, was, it sounds it, like you're just describing Portland at this point. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, no, but it was, it, they called it like the year of darkness. Golly. And like, but what that did was with the famine and all that stuff, all these animals, mainly rats, uh -huh. oh, would forced. come in because it was so cold outside. Oh, no. They would come into homes, oh, no. which can, that ended up leading to the bubonic plague. No way. Because, yeah, <gasps> yeah, they carried it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it, it's, it was like the first recorded plague was from. God. The result of this volcano going off in Iceland. Nightmare. They they were they're assuming Iceland. Yeah. They said it could have been Iceland. Someone said it was possibly one in El Salvador. Wow. So or we don't know the name of the volcano. No. Okay. Or it could have been a meteor. Oh, true that. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. That has nothing to do with the dark ages, right? No. Okay. It was, Got it. Yeah. Before. Okay. That. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Or maybe it was in the middle. No. I don't know. Do you remember yeah. that TikTok where the guy goes? Uh oh, maybe the depression wasn't just seasonal. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely earns the title of being the worst year ever in history. Uh, hopefully nothing like that will ever happen again. If it does, it's going to be pretty bad. Luckily, we have more technology than what they had. So if anything like that does happen, hopefully we have a leg up in this situation. But it's still going to be a really bad time. Yo, I caught Biden lacking on TikTok Live at the presidential debate. This man right here was literally powering up mid-sentence. Now before I show this to you, it's important for you to note that this guy declined doing a certain test before the debate that he wanted to do. Watch this. Continue to strengthen our healthcare system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, 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 excuse me, with um, dealing with Everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. Pre Was it too fast to catch? You know Biden moves with speed. Here it is again. Uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. 
So who are y'all gonna vote for? Let me down in the comments. I hope you've been watching this. It's hilarious. I saved this video. I didn't watch it all the way through. I saved it because I thought we were going to see Joe Biden act as if he was a robot like we've seen in the past. I didn't expect it was just to be him fumbling his words. I actually did not get to watch the debate. If any of you guys watched the debate, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. I have not seen it. I'm just catching pieces of it here and there on TikTok. It's, it's, a, it's a really crazy time. In the early 1970s, Nick Herber and Dick Shop developed the first metaphase devices, quantum operated machines that generated text and speech. The metaphase typewriter was part of a project conducted by the Consciousness Theory Group. This project looked to create devices capable of communicating with disembodied spirits, such as those of the dead, entities from other dimensions, and detached fragments of living personalities. For centuries, certain people have claimed to be possessed by disincarnate entities spirits of the dead, extraterrestrial entities, or interdimensional entities. The consciousness theory group thought it'd be somewhat unethical for these entities to inhabit an already occupied body. They wondered if it was possible to create an unoccupied, conscious friendly vessel that could invite wandering souls to come in. Of course, what, what could go wrong? Has nobody seen 13 ghosts? Herber explained that the metaphase typewriter came in part from Harris Walker's theories. Walker argued that consciousness works as a set of hidden variables in a quantum mechanical system. Herber believed that if Walker were correct, then the mind might be, at root, a quantum effect separate from the physical body. That the mind could control the body by consciously adjusting variables to shift underlying probabilities for different events. I always find it interesting that we're so fascinated with trying to contact spirits or other entities from different dimensions. So who comes up with that idea just, you know what, I want to try to communicate with something that I cannot see but it's probably there. I would just be afraid of communicating with an entity that's been waiting for us to communicate with them so that it can cause harm to our dimension or something like that. My mind goes all over the place when it comes to that kind of stuff. Because you never know who you can trust when you cannot see them or even know anything about them. They could be complete demons for all you know. Let me know in the comments of what you thought about it and if you agree with this kind of technology or if you think we should just leave it alone. So how does Organite work? So you need something that is pulling, pulling energy and repelling. Well, that metal here, it does that. It creates an attraction and repulsion. And then this resin contains the energy. So as the metal is attracting the life force energy and repelling it, the resin is containing it. Why do you need the crystal? Because the crystal smooths out the chaotic energy that is being attracted because sometimes without the crystal it will attract dark energy so that's how organite works and if you have some of these by a nasty neighbor it might like chill him out like you throw one over his yard or put it right next to his fence and he will calm the heck down you know yeah that's how organite works and it's a it's an accumulator of life force energy that is constantly pulling in energy and purifying it there's constantly more of that good energy that we need because we need we have so much of the bad energy pulling us down and we need more of the of the good energy my personal experience that i have with the organite generators has been a mixed experience one that i'm not a hundred percent sure how i feel about it because it does make me have some weird dreams I'm the type of person that rarely dreams, but ever since we've gotten these Organite pyramids, I have started dreaming when I sleep, and that's a new one. The dreams aren't necessarily scary or too crazy, but they are dreams and it's different for me. Also, with the ones in my room, I truly feel like being around them does help me be more positive. It gives me more energy. I, I feel better when I'm in this room surrounded by my pyramids I guess and it, it wasn't always like that if you go back a few quite a few months in my videos before I got these organite pyramids it was a different atmosphere I just wasn't as upbeat and maybe it was because I was just putting my feet into the YouTube scene I don't really know but ever since I got these my mood has been way up 
But I will have to say this, when I did first first get them, I think because they do draw in negative energy, when you first get these, they're going to draw in more negative energy before converting it to positive energy. So there is going to be a negative vibe for the first couple of weeks, I'd say, if not maybe even the, a month. But after that, it's like the atmosphere lightens up. I, I really can't explain it. I don't know if it's a placebo. I never really truly think about them anymore because I've had them so long, but the atmosphere in here is just different when you enter it. So hopefully that answers some questions that you may have had for the person that was asking about the Organite Pyramids. I do not know how to go into further detail as far as how are they made, if that's what you're asking but overall if you want to know how they work i think that they work just make sure you get an authentic organite pyramid you need something that the energy repels any metal will do as the frequencies are sucked in by the resin they're immediately repelled by the metal so you have a high repulsion attraction frequencies which is chaotic and unbalanced energy and the crystals inside have the ability to transmute this chaotic unbalanced energy and it smooths it out it balances balances it out and what comes out of an orgone generator now is a smooth harmonic balance positive energy that all living things want more of grass pets humans anything that's alive anything that's organic wants more of this good positive energy because we have too much of the negative and not enough of the positive and when you're surrounded by orgone generators you come into a state of balance and everything will work better you will even have neighbors who've never said hi to you and you Years, suddenly one morning we'll say oh hi and blow you away this video of a dude exposing walls in Italy for being fake is going viral and people are saying wow. it's because he's trapped in the front rooms which is the back rooms cousin but here's what's probably actually going on and why they would paint so many walls so a lot of areas in Rome and Italy were hit by war, meaning that they were struck by tanks, missiles, destroying all their property. And instead of rebuilding from the ground up, which would be really expensive, they had this idea to just paint the walls. They did this just in case they were hit by war again, but also for cost reasons. And even though they're not in war, they just left it. But what might have been a better option is hiring an actual artist like this dude right here who can actually do a plaster on the wall and then sculpt it out to look like stone, any kind of stone, and it looks absolutely incredible. This would be a much more cost-effective way to do this instead of building from scratch. He's absolutely incredible and can do pretty much anything. So if you see any painted walls in Europe, now you know why. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's really impressive because that painting really looks like real bricks and that's pretty neat. I would think that the painting would be cheaper, but I could be completely wrong. Let me know in the comments of which one you prefer. The following footage was captured in Ohio around June 25th, 2024. The witness doesn't believe this is a natural cloud formation as it's something he's never seen before. He thinks it's man-made. This, this video is going to have a hard divide. You're really going to have to decide for yourself. With everybody recording now, everybody looking up, we're starting to notice anomalies. We're starting to notice a lot more phenomenon. Has it always been there? Or is it truly a conspiracy? Is this something that is man's doing? Take a look at this footage and tell me what you think. This is not normal. I've never seen nothing like this ever. I'm 38 years old and I've never seen nothing like this. This is not made by Mother Nature. I'm sorry to say, the bottom shelf should not be like that. If you look this way, look at that. I've never seen this ever in my whole life of living. That just looks like normal weather clouds or maybe there's something about it that I'm missing but that doesn't really look anything too unrealistic or unnatural. Let me know in the comments of what you think. Do you think those look unnatural or is that just like a cloud wall? But this isn't really a video it's more of a text wall it says say goodbye to coffins. These organic burial pods will turn your body into a tree after you die. What do you think of this? I wouldn't be mad at that, to be honest with you. I think that's actually kind of neat. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Would you mind becoming a seed to grow a tree? The following footage is from an unidentified woman who was working from home and she was alone. They had recently moved into their new house. When she gets up to go grab her a drink and some snacks, that's when some weird things start happening. 
and it completely freaks her out. Take a look at this footage and tell me what you think. Gonna get some juice first. Gonna get some juice for mommy. <laughs> Gonna get some juice. Orange juice. Maybe there's orange juice. Gonna get some popcorn. Okay. Oh. Hello? No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no, no way, no way. Oh no, 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 no,
right? That's crazy. How does he know how to fucking do that, right? Yeah. They're smart, fam. And there's flies now. There's flies going flying around the cut. Mm -hmm. So guess what he does? He gets a leaf and he covers it like, like a, a band-aid. Band so everyone that's why they're watching like, oh nah. They know Yo. how to heal themselves now. You know what I mean? Damn. This is the first time in history that they've seen a, a monkey or an orangutan heal itself. I think that that's pretty cool. I've also seen a video where monkeys are starting to spear fish and use and use sticks for hunting. Who knows? Maybe in the next 100, 200 years, they might get so smart to actually build like homes, like actual solid houses. That would be really interesting. It also makes me wonder if these animals are consuming psychedelics and it's helping unlock their brain to do these things. It's just giving them the ideas, you know? People have said that Alex Jones is actually working for the CIA. And it's because he says all these crazy conspiracy theories or like stuff that's happened in like, yeah. but he adds in Hillary Clinton is a lizard woman. So it like discredits everything he says. So it's people delivery, are like, yeah. they're saying that he's saying real things that are happening or are going to happen. It's immediately discredited by how yeah, yeah, psycho yeah. he is. Yeah. I, you have to at least agree Agree that that would be a good strategy. Yeah. If you were trying to like make something seem silly, you would put it among other very silly things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do we call that tactic? The silly tactic? Yeah. I think there's only one way to handle this, General. I think we gotta get silly. <laughs> Somebody call uh, Alex. So yeah, bring in Mr. Jones. <laughs> but it was funny on the Joe Rogan podcast I listened to, he was saying crazy stuff. And Joe Rogan was like getting mad at him. He's like, what proof do you have? And he's like, I'm telling you, man. He's like, Jamie, Jamie, look it up. <laughs> Everything out Alex Jones was saying, he, Jamie's like, yeah, he's right. And then Joe Rogan's like, this is what's driving me nuts. He's like, 95% of the things that you say are indeed correct, but you're being a psychopath about yeah, everything. Yeah, your delivery is so <laughs> yeah. wet. I have thought this a lot about many of people, especially Alex Jones, Dr. Greer, Billy Carson, and all these other type of whistleblower people. I just have this deep feeling that they are working for the government or the CIA or people of power. They're being used as a distraction or to mislead information. And you have a guy like Alex Jones out there talking about lizard people and talking super bizarre and crazy about them to the point where it sounds so unbelievable that people stop believing in it. That makes sense. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm really sorry it was short today. I have a lot of stuff going on. But as always, if you enjoyed any of the clips, links are in the description down below. And with that being said, have a good day.